This Lisa tutorial describes how to apply forces, moments, and pressures. In static, dynamic response, modal response, and buckling analysis, force and pressure are always applied to a named selection. Whether the named selection is a collection of nodes or faces, specify the total force or pressure to be applied, and Lisa will take care of distributing it appropriately, over the selected nodes or faces. In two-dimensional analysis, a force can be applied, along the X and Y axes directions. In two-dimensional beam elements, a turning moment may be applied, about the Z axis. In three-dimensional analysis, a force can be applied, along the X, Y, and Z axes directions. For beam and shell elements, a turning moment, can be applied about all three axes. Force and pressure, can be applied on edges, faces, or nodes. Turning moments are to be applied, on nodes only. When applying turning moments, they have to be applied, one node at a time. To apply a force or pressure, select the edges or faces. Right click, loads and constraints, then apply the pressure. Pressures can be applied, in one of two ways. Either perpendicular, to the selected edge, or face. Or, they can be applied as components, along the X, Y, and Z axes directions. Pressure can be applied to beam elements, along their local U, V, and W coordinate axes directions. The difference between the two pressure options. Pressure and line pressure is that line pressure is specified in units of force per length, while the other pressure is specified in units of force per area. This means that a line pressure can only be applied to edges and not faces. To specify the change in force or pressure, over the duration of a dynamic response or modal response analysis, use the table option. You don't have to specify a value, for each and every time step. Values are required, only at the times where the force, or pressure changes. Lisa will interpolate between the starting, and ending load values for the period bounded between, the two load values. This implies that, if you want to have no load over a time period, then the starting and ending loads over that time period, must both be zero. For example, if the total duration of an analysis is 2 seconds. At 0.5 seconds a force is applied, and then held steady for 1 second, before being removed. In the table, a zero load would be specified at time zero, and at time, 0.4 seconds as there is no applied load during this period. Then at time point 5 seconds, a load is applied. This remains in effect for 1 second, so the same load is applied to time, 1.5 seconds. At 1.6 seconds there is no load, so a zero force is specified. For the remainder duration of the analysis, the last force value that was specified, will continue to remain in effect, which in this case is zero. This timeline shows the duration of the analysis, which is two seconds. And you can see the force as it changes, at 0.5 seconds, and 1.5 seconds. This ends the tutorial on applying forces, moments and pressures to the relevant analysis types in LISA. Please view the tutorials on displaying results.